what is up app nation it is the pm founder PM. masters com the place you go when you want action-packed content relating to helping you grow your downloads and your revenues and today it's a little bit different i'm actually at home we're gonna go out to the snow in lake tahoe right after this so i thought i'm gonna have this crazy setup at home and i'm coming to you live at home today on this wonderful friday morning and today i've got two phenomenal guests and we're talking about all about like what's the difference between all the funding options that you might have as an app developer what are some out there and we've talked to a few already but I, this company is a little bit different and i want to hear all about that so i'm super excited to have them on with me today is and i'm not going to butcher you guys' last name but is andrew and daria from games boost 42 go check them out it is gamesboost42.com and the link is in the description daria andrew welcome to the live stream hi everybody hi all everybody. right andrew I see you. thank you well thanks thank for being for here guys and Andrew's out in Serbia and it is 12 midnight his time right now. So thank you so much for doing this so late. But well, Andrew, you want to kick it off? Like what, tell us a little bit about games 42. And then I want to get into more details of like the differences between like traditional investors and what games 42 provides. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm chief business developer officer uh, at games boost 42. Um, we are funding service company uh, within uh, Games Up 42. It's our holding. Uh, we where we have uh, more than uh, ten uh, different kind of companies, uh, which uh, uh, all of them are connected with uh, entertainment business. Uh, well, uh, I have uh, more than um, twenty years in uh, game development, games publishing, and uh, project management, and financial services. Uh, I uh, was a CEO in a, in a gaming company, so uh, I think I have a lot of uh, experience in the games. Uh, so uh, recently, I joined to Games Boost uh, Forty Two as uh, Chief Business Development Officer, and um, yeah, we're a young company, but uh, we have a lot of professional on board, and we provide uh, the funding uh, for marketing marketing scales. Uh, for the companies, uh, which uh, most of them, uh, we work with uh, mobile applications and games also, but uh, uh, also we we are looking for any kind of cooperation with uh, with uh, any kind of business which have a, a positive unit uh, economy on uh, in the, in their uh, portfolio. So. Uh, Actually, when uh, when Steve uh, contacted me, uh, I checked uh, the channel, uh, and it's a really great channel. Uh, uh, and thank you, Steve, for for your channel. And I have a lot of interesting uh, videos. I check checked a lot of interesting videos on your channel. So, um, and I found uh, that uh, there is a, a guys from uh, from Bravo and Poland VC, the same kind of uh, companies which work. In, uh, we work with with uh, on the same market as the funding companies and they're really great companies and uh, mark and martin uh, says a lot uh, of uh, details about how this uh, co uh, companies works and how this market funding uh, market works so yeah. I, I would like to uh, i would like to tell about some kind of different uh, uh, features of our company which Please. we provide we pro yeah. so uh, uh so if, if you don't mind uh, so uh, actually, the, the main question which we got uh, from um, from our clients, from our future clients and existing clients, is that uh, why forty two? So games boost forty two. So uh, what, what does it mean uh, that forty two? Uh, well, uh, the <laughs> when I joined the company, I, I have the same question <laughs> actually to the founders and to 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 my CEO. And there is no actually, actually there is no any kind of official answer on this question. So we we got some theories uh, in our uh, in our staff. Uh, w w what does it mean? And the main uh, the most popular theories theories it's uh, uh, it's the answer to ultimate question of life. If you watch the Hitchhiker Guide to Galaxy and you read the, the great book, which uh, I really uh, like also, and uh, there is a 42 is the answer to ultimate question of life. And I think it's it, it's really work. So we give uh, a lot of answers to our clients for, for the future, for the 
for we trying to solve for their problems which they got so uh i think it's close to uh to uh, to to do that uh hitchhiker guide to the galaxy to the galaxy of mobile application mobile market so also 42 yeah. also 42 is a magical number in mathematics uh, so i think that we do some kind of magical service that's why maybe it's also an interesting theory yeah uh and uh so uh as i said we are working not only with the games uh, because games boost is our our name so uh we're working with a lot of uh kind of uh, uh, applications uh, of mobile application uh, right now. Uh, so I, I think Daria will tell you more about this. Sorry, I talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Daria. So you, you guys, well, I actually want to talk about this, Daria. So it's not just games, it's all mobile apps too. But you do want some revenues coming in, right? You want to see some revenues. Is it for apps that have some traction in the marketplace and are generating revenues and want to scale up that revenues. And what I want to point out to the audience too is that's what most traditional investors want to see, right? Like it's no longer this case where you just have an idea and you're going to raise some money, but with Games Boost 42, you when you have some revenues coming in and you can show that, you can actually get some injection of funds and also you know hold on to all of your equity rather than giving it to investors. Yeah, right. Uh, exactly what, what I say. Yes, uh, of course, we we uh, need to see any kind of traction for for uh, uh, for application for company with which we want to work uh, for for this client and um, and but uh, uh, we 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 don't uh, we don't have any thresholds on revenue. Uh, any kind of um, we we trying to work uh, with with a with a with the clients with with the developers we just start their way uh, with application. Of course, they 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 need to have a live uh, application in stores, but uh, we uh, we are trying to deeply uh, analyze the numbers which uh, he got. We analyze. Uh, uh what kind of uh, user acquisition uh, campaigns if he, if he work with user acquisition yeah uh, what kind of uh, the uh, this user acquisition campaigns he, he already do uh done and uh, so and uh, if uh, there is no any kind of uh, user acquisition expertise there is a lot of uh, clients which don't have any kind of expertise in user acquisition uh, right now, so we're trying to help them to get this expertise uh, from our partner uh, and clients, other clients, uh, because our, our clients is also is uh, huge and well-known marketing uh, user acquisition uh, agencies. So we work with uh, their uh, with our clients to connect them each other and uh, give uh, uh, the power and uh, expertise of uh, user acquisition agency to our new client and. Uh, and uh, to connect them both and for of course they work with as an with an exclusive terms because uh, they are both our clients sure uh, that's the that's the main idea which uh, we bring to 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 to, to the market well hey and, so, and daria yeah. i don't know who wants to take this but johan asks so do you guys want equity or do you guys take profits how does that work the, the pricing uh well uh we, we we don't need any equity we we don't require any equity any uh, kind of um any kind of um, pledges or something uh, we work with a fixed commission we uh, t uh we uh we uh, which uh, we uh, which we get in from uh, the funds which we uh give to developers so uh, it's just as a fixed commission right now so we we don't any uh we, we don't work with any revenue share actually well we have uh, uh it, it will uh, I, I will tell you about this uh a bit later we have a product like uh we, we call it publishing uh and there is a revenue share uh but uh, our re revenue share with the developers uh we, we give the developers up to 98 percent of revenue so uh actually we we we, we don't have any kind of uh you know uh, like a classic publisher uh, deals like a 50 50 or, or more so uh our commission is uh fixed 
like that. Okay. I want to say hi to a few people. Guten Tag. Drink drama. Hello. How's it going? And we're going to take a look at your app as well. I had to Google that and Google Translate told me good day. So good day to you. And then we've got Johan. Always good to see Johan. Bianca, what's happening? Thanks for sending over that dad joke. And then Branded Brothers Gaming, here we are. How's it going? Celtic Whispers, Raphael is here as well. And then I think this is Russian, right? What is he saying? Hello, everyone. Oh, привет. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Daria, thank you. Russian, it's in Russian. It was written okay. in Russian. It just means, hi, guys. Oh, okay. And Joe is currently in the middle of a three-hour drive, but he had to tune in. <laughs> Come on in, Joe. Be careful. Be safe out there. And they, there's a lot of people guessing about the 42 number, 42nd Street in Manhattan. And then <laughs> a marathon is 42 kilometers. So interesting st stuff there. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We, we, we can make some uh, some uh, competition and make uh, and uh, check uh, uh, the best answer on this question. So we can use it uh, as our corporate slogan. So please <laughs> give us uh, your suggest suggestions. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Hey, so Andrew, just to recap, what I heard from the, the way you guys work, it's obviously you take a percentage of the future receivables, right? And so Apple and Google take a little bit of time to actually pay out the end developers. And so you can see how much an app is going to earn and you take a percentage of that before. But I want to get into some of the publishing side. Is that just games or is, are you looking at apps too from the publishing side? There we go. Um, we are not we are not working only with games. Uh, of course, we love games, and uh, well, mostly we work with mobile and desktop games. But also, we work with other kind of applications and with uh, different monetization models. We work with free to play, subscription, monetization, and even premium. Um, and we are trying to work in with every companies in individual terms. Uh, also, we work with offline products. For example, one of our best clients is Cinemood. Cinemood. Um, is a company uh, they produce and sell mini projectors. So this is uh, absolutely offline product. But the most important thing that we need uh, to start to work with uh, the product is uh, uh, that they uh, need to have uh, online marketing. So that is the condition. And sometimes uh, we are trying to help to the studios who are at the very beginning. Uh, and sometimes they do not having you at all but uh, they want to uh, have everything inside of their team and they do not want to go to the publishers uh, and uh, that is about our publishing deal I will tell about it about a little bit later this is a very interesting product and a very promising deal sorry I was on mute yeah. can you tell us a little bit more about it the publishing deal I'm very interested in it because what do we need to from our side to potentially work with you guys on a publishing deal because you have a localization arm, you have ASO, you have QA, you have legal, you have all these services that you provide us from a publishing perspective. Uh, yeah, let me tell you a little bit more about publishing. We have a publishing agreement with game and app developers, uh, and it means that uh, the, the game the game studios uh, get up to 98% of the revenue. Uh, and the main feature that we have is uh, that they, we offer them a uh, exclusive offers from our partners, from our user acquisition agencies partners. We have a lot of user acquisition agencies partners and um, uh, the game studios who are ready to uh, work with us on publishing agreement, uh, they can work with them on, ex on exclusive terms, of course. Um, the most important thing that they need is uh, uh, to have promising product, to have a promising game, and it should be released uh, on store already. Uh, and um, what about revenues, Daria? Do we need to have revenues, or is it just a good-looking product? I've got a great-looking product. You know, most of the developers I think I talk to all think that they got a great-looking product. And so, tell me, like, what yeah. are there some specific numbers that you guys need to see from the app? Uh, well, uh, first of all, it's good if they have some numbers already or if they have some data already, it's good. But if they do not have it, uh, we can connect them to our marketing agency partners and uh, uh, they can have a look at their product because they have a good expertise in promote in promotion such uh, products. Uh, so first of all, uh, they will check their games. They will check what they have, what they have in store, uh, and they, they can analyze what they can do for them. 
and uh, after that sometimes they can do some free tests just like publishers do but um, uh, they can do some free tests uh, some user acquisition tests for them and uh, if everything is okay we can work together on publishing deal uh, marketing agency uh, will provide them some traffic from different sources uh, they will able they will be able to do some user acquisition campaigns lead and uh, we will provide them money for this for scaling for future receivables and so on and the most important differences and advantages of working with game boost 42 and the publishing deal contract is that we are not trying to claim any part of the company uh, there is no need to change bank details in stores uh, you can publish your game under the name of your studio and you can get up to 98% uh, of the revenue. Uh, that's unusual. It's unusual for publishing, yeah. Uh, and uh, the most important thing is that you can raise and save all the expertise and targeted audience inside of your team and the game. Uh, also, we guarantee individual approach to each of the clients and we can provide free access to analytic systems. And uh, as I have a big... Um, expertise in working with marketing agencies i also i um, always advise to the developers to raise their own expertise in marketing and user acquisition to save the audience and to save all the numbers inside of their team because it's really important to have all the expertise inside it doesn't mean that you don't need to work with uh, marketing agencies because sometimes you really need a benchmark to understand how you work and what you do um, are you are you doing your marketing activity well or you, you need to maybe you need to improve it uh, but still uh, i always advise to raise your own user acquisition activity and to, to raise your your own team and to save everything inside of your team and uh, so then uh, our publishing deal could help out with that much i guess the future is for for this yeah, I like it. So guys, what I want to point out is go to Games Boost 42, fill out that form or put in your email address. They'll take a look at it. And this is what I want to point out. You help, they'll help you figure out the URA numbers, kind of look at your forecast and see what's the best fit for you. All right, let's go into some of the apps that we have to audit. And with that, let's go into a dad joke, my favorite part of the show, first and foremost. All right, guys, you don't have to fake laugh, okay? But it's appreciated if you do. <laughs> All right, okay. Andrew, you might like this a little bit. Where do cow <laughs> farts come from? Where do cow farts come from? The dairy air. That's it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Oh, see, he didn't like yeah. it. He didn't like it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna change the scoring a little bit. If you liked it, put in a number one. If you didn't like it, put in a zero, and we'll just keep it that simple. Okay. One if you okay, like okay. it, and zero if you didn't like it, put it in the comments below. And let's take a look at Drink Drama right now. All right, so Drink Drama, drama and he's here, Fabio's here. Fabio says, our app is currently in testing. Send me an email. Oh, well, I think I already have the app, Fabio. But he wants us to take a look at his UX and the conversion process, so the in-app game purchases, all right? So I won't take a look at anything related to this. Fabio, I'm gonna assume you got your ASO locked down. I think it looks good. This is crazy because sometimes things happen in trends and I've been looking at a lot at these party games. So you're coming in at a good time, Fabio. But let's take a look. So I launched the app. I just wanted to make sure that I can use it and we'll go into it. And you guys, Andrew and Daria, just jump in anytime you guys want as well. But sure. I will sure. try to, and if I blow this up anymore, it might just crash on me. So I'm gonna try to keep it this, okay. Cool, I like this. Share your best cheese, okay. I'm sorry, I have a question. It's yeah. some kind of uh, American party game or something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, that's a good question, Andrew. It is a drinking game. So it's got a uh -huh. bunch of, of it looks like a bunch of different games. Yeah, yeah. It's a different games. I've seen uh -huh. a lot of these where they'll have never have I as one of its things. So it's kind of like one of the things is truth or dare, which most people know. And then never have I, there's a little card. And then if you have done it, then you put a, you know, you put a finger down or you have to drink. And if you have it, then mm -hmm. you're, you're good. So that's the type of games. All right. Okay. Good question. So if 
Fabio, I don't know why you want me to share. You probably want me to play first and foremost, because I'm going to assume that most users are coming in. Daria, Andrew, and I are hanging out, talking about apps, and then we want to play a party game. You know, we're done talking about apps. So we want to play. So I probably would want to hit play rather than focusing on sharing. I don't know why. Okay, this is a little bit confusing, but I will go ahead and put this in. I thought there'd be a game that I can pick first, but it didn't have a game and I'll put Daria. Okay. All right. Play. All right. Cool. Party. Perfect. Sorry. I like this, that it's locked. What concerns me is just because I've seen all some of you, these games already is that there is an app mm -hmm. called most likely to where you can play for free and then pay for certain packs. So I don't know your end user. I'm just saying that as somebody who knows this space a little bit to be dangerous, I know I can play some of these most likely to packs for free going looking for another app. And so the fact that you're locking me just to play this game might not work, but I don't know. That's something you should test out. I'm just brainstorming here with you. All right. Yeah. Uh... Go ahead, Andrew. So we, we we right now we're testing the first time user experience, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and uh, yeah, I see that the usual kind of uh, offer wall uh, right now. Uh, it's an ex exclusive offer with a timer. It's uh, it's a usual thing which I uh, saw a lot. So uh, as for the drink uh, drama game and the party game, American party game, I think it's uh, it's. Uh, uh, th th this kind of application is uh, more uh, the main audience is from U United States, you know. So yeah. uh, I, I think so. Uh, I, I, I as I'm from Russia and and uh, there is no any kind of beer uh, and from from Siberia. I mean beer. So I I, I, mm. I will not understand how to play. Uh, it's a just joke uh, right now. So uh, so, but it looks really really nice right now. So. Uh, yeah, we, we can go on or buy something. Yeah, no, yeah, this is so I like this offer where he has a little pack right here, special offer, all packages get 30% mm -hmm. off. I like this. It's a limited time deal. What I would try with the limited time offer right now, it says 39 hours is even a shorter time period. You know, yeah. having talked to a few people on the podcast, they find like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes is a pretty good time limit to put on these type of offers. And then what I think what you should do is regurgitate the fact that it is access to all three packs or four packs, whatever it is for one low price. So I like this idea a lot. Okay. You guys want to play a party game? Choose your drinking strength. Okay. I'm on an empty stomach for sure. Steve, close your eyes and move your index finger horizontally towards each other. If they meet, Andrew has four slip. What? Close your eyes and move your index fingers horizontally towards each other. Okay. that seems lame. Boom, that works. <laughs> I must not pronounce the... Mm, okay, uh, interesting. Okay. Andrew, think of a rhyme that contains Daria and party. Go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, you got to drink. It's midnight there, so you might as well drink. Yeah. yeah. Steve, think of a rhyme that includes Andrew is hot. Mm, Andrew is hot <laughs> like a spaghetti pot. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. these are interesting. I think let, let's just see what happens if we go through most of them. All right, else, but... Yeah, I think here's a good opportunity to potentially show lock out the cards and then get me to buy a little bit. Uh -huh. Right now, you give me a lot for free. And I think what I would try to do is give me like 10 or 15 and then try to lock it and be like, Hey, you want to buy, you know, there's, there's certain, uh -huh. we're going to party and we're going to play, but how many rounds can we actually play with before we get plastered? So I would try to lock some of these rounds, like after five initial rounds, Fabio, maybe show the, Hey, do you want to buy? Do you want to unlock more cards? I think this is where I would try to monetize versus these, uh, I'm going to pick, no, sir. I would try to make a lot of these free and then give away 10 cards. And then as they're playing and having fun, then get them to pay. That's my idea, but I don't feel too strongly about it. You're going to have to 
test that out. Okay. He said, press the little I. Okay. okay. Well, all right. Any thoughts from you guys, Darius? Yeah. Uh, there you go. yeah I, I just want to tell, uh, I noticed that uh, on some of your streams, you use uh, sensor power or something to check the numbers. Uh, yeah. For, for the application. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what, could, can you check it uh, right now? Or? Well, this is just I, launched. This hasn't officially launched yet. Ah, it's, it's, it's early it's access. Early, uh, early, yeah. early access. Sorry, yeah. sorry. But here, look, okay. I mean, there there is a market for this, like Drinkster, for example. I mean, uh -huh. they're doing pretty well. So I can throw out some of these things for you guys. We'll just look on Google. Okay. So in the US, uh, okay, not that well. Have we looked at Drinkster? Uh, <laughs> huh. I think that such games should be very popular in Russia. <laughs> I'm not sure, but maybe. All right, let's look up Drink Roulette. Uh -huh. Look at iOS first. Maybe we get some big numbers. Okay, 400,000. Now we're on to something. Drink Roulette. And then on Google Play, it's 30,000. So pretty decent market for these. I mean, obviously they rank number one for drinking games, so that's a good thing. But it, I thought Drinkster yeah. was doing better. Maybe we audited this. I don't know why this one looks familiar for me, but cool. Hey, we have some questions for you guys as well. I hope that was helpful, uh, Fabio. Let us know what happens and what you end up doing. Uh, Celtic Whisper says, sounds great team. We're about to launch our very first Unity retro game called Boot Camp USA, demo out already. Awesome, fill out that form. If you guys want us to take a look at your app, just fill out this particular form, appmasters.com <laughs> appmasters slash audit, and you'll get access to that. We'll take a look at, we do have a long list. Bianca, thanks for always liking my jokes. And then, so Brandon Brothers Gaming says, the relationship between a developer and Games Boost 42, when it comes to an end, what, how does that work? That's a great question. Yeah, uh, well, actually, um, our publishing agreement uh, termination terms is uh, free. So uh, I, I mean, uh, 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 the developer can uh, terminate the agreement at any time. Uh, but uh, if uh, he got uh, the funds and uh, from us, and uh, there is any kind of uh, uh, money uh, which he, he owns us, uh, he j still owns us. But the publishing agreement is terminated. So uh, we don't want to. Uh, our goal is to uh, is to uh, terminate the agreement as uh, soon as possible because uh, it it will mean that uh, developers don't need any funds for marketing and scales from us. Uh, that that will mean that uh, their application is uh, getting higher than uh, um, uh, in, in top uh, sales, and uh, he don't need any kind of uh, funding for marketing and scales because he got revenue. Uh, which uh, he already used for his game. So our goal is he, he, it sounds pretty it sounds pretty uh, unusual, but our goal is here uh, because uh, if we give the funds to developers and have a success story, uh, and uh, we see that application uh, is growing and. Uh, the developer don't need any services like uh, us and don't need us. That's a great success story for us because we are boosting the game. Uh, we are not uh, getting any kind of long term or for forever terms cooperation with developers. We don't uh, get any revenue, uh, and uh, so uh, so we just help to boost uh, uh, the marketing skills and we uh, getting our commission. Yes, of course so we are not. Uh, uh, not uh, not working for free, uh, but uh, except 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 money, except our profit, we get a lot of experience in uh, user acquisition, in uh, analytical uh, systems. We got uh, um, a lot of analytical guys who work with uh, with developers itself. So uh, that experience costs a lot and uh, help us to get more profit from uh, developer and helps them. I like it. Hey. Andrew, the, is it just as, I thought that was, a, is it just as letting you guys know or giving you 30 days notice? How does that work? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it's a notice, a 30 days uh, notice uh, for termination. 
and uh, it's all clear uh, indicated in our agreement. There is no any kind of tricks or something. Uh, and we also, as Daria said, we also trying to work with each client individually. That uh, means that we um, trying to uh, to to make a custom agreements for each our client uh, right now. So we uh, our we, we, our agreements is uh, kind of uh, unique uh, for any kind of developer because their their application and their products is unique. And every team is unique, so uh, they uh, have a uh, unique goals. Uh, that means that, uh, and we're trying to work uh, uh, in a legal uh, field. I mean, in a, you know, the, there is a kind of uh, agreements uh, in some of uh, um, some companies works uh, and uh, only and requested to do not touch any any kind of terms in their agreement. Uh, and but we work uh, differently uh, in other way. We trying to. Uh, uh, to get our uh, any kind of terms, any kind of question to to know with uh, to discuss with developers and uh, to get understand understand what they got and what they want from them. Yeah, uh, and unfortunately, there is a lot of uh, uh, clients right now, and uh, it's growing. Uh, so uh, you uh, you have you have a little chance to get in <laughs> to get in in unique uh, stand because uh, we we just don't have uh, don't have a time to um, to work with each client individually. So uh, I think uh, it's it's a good time to join uh, to our company to to our services. I mean, hey, I can't hear you, Steve. Dang it. That's what I get. That's what I get from okay. myself. I want to say hi to Powell. So in case you didn't even miss that. And then Raphael's got the Russian flag. I love it. Frank <laughs> is here. Oh yeah. We're gonna take a look at your app, Frank. So I'm glad you're here. All right. And then let's see what else. One thing I want to do is answer drink drama. Fabio wants us to take a look, but he was concerned that during the pandemic, he didn't want to launch it. I actually agree with Bianca here, Fabio. Pandemic stopped you. I would think it's a good time to launch. I think so too. I know like people aren't getting together as much, but I still do think that there's enough. You know, the the world is huge, and there's a lot of people just still out and about. So I still think it's a good time to launch it. Bianca's right. Like liquor sales are probably are up. That's what I heard too. And so I don't. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts, but I I'm kind of like just launch it. You never know. It's not going to make or break you guys. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't hesitate on launching it. Yeah, well, uh, actually, there is a lot of information about the pandemic and how it uh, worked on the games, uh, on a mm -hmm. user acquisition campaign. So uh, you can check it. Uh, and uh, yes, there is a lot of growth in uh, in the sales in uh, in the time spent on the application games. So uh, it's, I think so it's a really good. Thing. Yeah. All right, Fabio wants me to click on this little eye. Steve, could you do me a favor and click on the eye on one of the packages? It's a several page for the sales. It's a several page. Funnel. I don't know what that means for the sales funnel. All right, Fabio, I didn't know to click on the eye because everything is dimmed. So maybe not dim the eye, but let's click on it. Never have I ever. Uh, 200 words, parenting, categories. Never have I ever seen a film more than five times. So I haven't, but okay. But you want me to click on buy? Yeah, so I think here's what I would say. Eh, why not pop it up, right? Like why make them click on the eye to show this versus just popping up the, the payment screen. I think I would prefer to just not do that. But when I tap on anywhere during the truth or dare, show me what you normally show on the eye, because I don't think it's a purchase. Like, Oh man, I, now I can't even see the eye anymore. Oh my goodness. I really can't see the eye anymore. Okay, so that I think Fabio, I would change that. Like, okay, here, you'd probably want to see this before I hit buy. So if I tap on the seductive, I want to see this before I buy, and then I think everything else looks cool. Every time Daria and Andrew have to drink, they drink twice as much. Okay, cool. So yeah, and then click buy, then you show me this. So I would always show that little pop up before showing the actual pricing page thing. Oh, shoot. 
<laughs> Sorry, Raphael. Anyways, my bad. I was not sharing the phone screen. Andrew, where were you, man? I, you're supposed to be my producer. You didn't edit this. I apologize, <laughs> guys. But this, <laughs> we're talking about this. Fabio, you know what I'm talking about. So mainly for you. I would show this every time before I tap on everything. Right now, the little eye, I can't see it. So just to regurgitate. But show that little eye pop up every time I tap on this. Don't show me that because I don't know if the conversions are going to be that high. But if you show me this first and then I click buy, that's the way I did do it. Cool. All right. Hey, guys, what I want to get into is the analytics platform. Can you guys tell me a little bit about the analytics platform that you guys have? Yeah. Uh, actually, we, we have uh, our exclusive strategic partner. Uh, these guys is uh, really professional for 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 the analytics uh, system, and uh, we decide to move to uh, to strategic partnership uh, with them uh, because uh, I think the professionals uh, need to be professional. So it's uh, um, it's uh, it's better than uh, we will grow our own professional side. So we work with uh, with this uh, company and uh, they provide us a unique system which uh, help us to connect to any kind of source of uh, uh, data from application and the developer don't need uh, to implement any kind of custom sdk or something we use uh, the sources of data which uh, with which uh, developer already work so uh, uh, we get getting the access to and getting data the data from Facebook, from Google uh, ads, from uh, attribution services like uh, Apps Flyer or Adjust, and so on. We have more than sixteen uh, um, uh, integrations uh, right now. So uh, and uh, we gather all the data. And uh, the main feature of this system, uh, the main feature of these guys, is that we can uh, make a custom reports uh, and combine uh, all uh, the data, all the spans, the proceeds, and uh, attribution uh, data in one report. And uh, we uh, make this uh, global report and uh, make a, a prediction that help us to make a prediction uh, for uh, games or for games or app application KPIs. We can predict uh, the LTV and uh, CPI and uh, so on. And uh, this uh, help us to make a decision about the funding, about the funding and uh, how uh, how much we can fund and uh, how we can work with uh, the developer with that application. That's how it works. And, uh, and the main feature of this uh, analytical system is that our clients use uh, this analytical system uh, on daily basis for get uh, for know they, uh, their data and for work with their data for application. And uh, they already use it. And it's really useful. Uh, I know that there, there is a, a really great system for for, for, for example, uh, at uh, Brow or, or Poland VC, uh, we, we, we well, we 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 we're trying to do the same, and uh, I think the main feature is uh, to make a custom reports, uh, and it's really work, and it's really help to predict the data, and it it works, actually it works. Love it. Okay, uh, the one thing I want to end with with Fabio, Fabio, I would try to regurgitate what kind of games you have, what kind of drinking games. Because the other ones that you have, like never have I ever, all that stuff. Uh, I don't see. I don't even know what happened to our people. It looks like it did save our names, but all the types of games you have, put it on the main screen. And the last thing I would add is the the promo offer where I can get all these packs. Put that on here too. There's a lot of room for you to wiggle around with, and I, I would put those promo things in there as well. All right, let's get into our next joke. I know. But somebody had a joke in here. I forgot. Uh, we don't <laughs> see the phone screen, or I'd love to know. But make sure. Oh yeah, Raphael says vodka kills all viruses. So go ahead and launch it, Fabio. <laughs> all right, you know vodka, right, Andrew? All right, I got a joke for you guys. Here, it is. Daria, what do you call two birds stuck together? What do you call two birds that are stuck together? Vel crows. <laughs> there you go. All right, one if you like it, and zero if you don't like it. Frank, we got your app right now. We got drum school. So you like that one, right, Andrew? Frank, 
He's got drum school. I love this advanced drum learning tool. It's a $10 app. He wants us to focus on monetization because it's a paid app, Frank. Like I'm obviously not going to pay you because I don't really care about the drums. But the other thing I would say is if you're trying to grow, I'm just saying, because you put monetization, it's already paid. And I'm assuming you don't have any in-app purchases. Oh, you do have some in-app purchases. You do. Okay, that's good. Or what I would say is because it's paid, I'm not messing around with it. There's a couple of things I would do, okay? One, look at search ads. I've had a friend of mine do phenomenally well as a paid app with search ads. So take a look at search ads, whether it's the basic or the advanced, because it's a niche app like this, you're going to have a niche audience too. So definitely look at the search ads on that end. The other thing I want to point out is as your screenshots, I think what you, what's missing is the social proof. And so what I know, I was like, all right, let me go to his website and look at this. I see you, Frank, as this like brainchild, the world renowned drummer, Frank, you know, like put that, put that information about yourself here because it's like, all right, I see what you're giving me, but I don't know who you are and why I should trust you. So if you're already getting, like you got great ratings right here, you know, hundred plus 4.7. If you're already utilizing an audience that you already have through other channels, great. But if you want to really grow and reach people who don't know of you, highlight who you are in these screenshots because, and the text is a little bit too much. I don't think a lot of people are reading it, but I think what I would do is highlight as much about you and why people should trust you to teach me the, about drumming. Okay. And I'll shut up if you guys want to jump in here while I look up something to see if they have video. Okay, he doesn't have a video. Okay, he does have a drum school light, which we can check out and see how that works. Apple, I thought Apple doesn't allow you to do this stuff anymore, but maybe they're okay. So there's a free version that I can check out that leads to this paid version, I'm assuming as well. Oh, the last thing I would mention too, Frank, is there's this little hack that somebody on the podcast said so it's all public information, but the, the last thing I want guys is like people telling me stuff. And then it's like, well, Steve's just going to regurgitate this on the, in the public. But essentially what you can do is there are these price drop websites out there. And so what you can do and what this guy did was he would drop his, the price of his app every Tuesday, he wrote a little script and then make it live again on every Wednesday, every Wednesday. And that would actually increase conversions because these bots, these websites cover price drop app campaigns. And anytime they see a price drop, you get coverage. And so you get a nice good amount of sales and then it goes back to being paid and then you get a nice little reimbursed. So, but something might, you might want to think about that a little bit too. All right. Frank says, thanks. Anything you guys want to add while I pull up something? No. Okay. Uh yeah, it's uh, uh yeah, I, I have some uh addition. It's a really interesting application. And if I if I don't uh Hi. mistake, uh sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> if I if I don't mistake it, it's ten ten years old uh old. Uh th this application was launched uh, uh ten years ex exactly ten years ago. Mm. If I don't if I if I understand right, so it's really interesting. Uh, I, I don't, I don't uh, uh, joke right now, and uh, I really interesting as an application. If uh, if uh, the uh, developers is here, uh, I really would would love to speak with him and just do okay. know more. He is here, yeah. Andrew. He is here. He's right okay. here. Yeah, Frank. Thank you, Steve. These are great suggestions. Look at that. Look at those sticks, okay. man. Yes, 10 years old, he said. So Frank, what I would, and I'm, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name, but this free version that I'm checking out, like it just popped up to this, which is fine, but I also would promote this version of drum school, you know, GoPro over here in this main screen, like on the top maybe of grooves so that you can, yeah, I, I just think it'll look better if you just put it up top a little bit. And then what, I, yeah, so you have it everywhere else. I just think if you just put it up top, you guys are gonna you're gonna see it and it takes me here. Okay. Cool. All right, it looks good. Otherwise, it look, does look good. Do me a favor, Frank. Or Frank, the if you take any of this advice, please.
give us some feedback because I love receiving the emails, especially if people who are like, Steve, thanks for outing my app. And then here's what we did. And I love getting those emails too. All right. Hey, so the, it, I'm going to try this, Andrew or Dario, you want to step in here too, but Newsly says, not sure exactly what you're offering. Can you try to repeat? So I'm going to try it myself, you guys. And then you guys jump in if I miss anything. How about that? I think I'm a pretty sure, nice please. Thing. All right, here we go. So essentially, usually what Games Boost will allow you to do if you have an app that's working well from a monetization perspective, you know how to grow it. Maybe you've got a Facebook channel or search ads and like Frank, right? Like he's got search ads. He turned it on. Now it's just really funneling money. Then what you can do is reach out to Games Boost and you're like, hey, I want to double down on Facebook ads. I want to double down on Apple search ads because it's working really well, but mm -hmm. I have to wait a month or so to get my funds from Apple, right? Like I can't reinvest. I'm not just going to continue to put it on my credit card. I can't reinvest. So I'm going to reach out to Games Boost. They're going to give me the money that Apple owes me. They're going to take a percentage of that, but I get that money. Let's say it's 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand. They're going to give me a little bit earlier, a lot of it earlier, and then I can reinvest into the marketing machine and continue to grow it. So you don't have to wait the 45 days for Apple to Google or paying you. You can reinvest in the revenues that you already earned and Games Boost will help you get there. Essentially, they'll get your, they'll help you get your app store revenues that these platforms owe you a lot faster than the 45 days that you have to wait. How'd I do? Yes, yes, yeah, great. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, and uh, you, you, you make a great job here. But uh, the most unique feature of our company and our offer, we, we can see the feature, future. We, uh, it's a uh, future revenue, which, uh, mm, uh, which your application can get if you will uh, marketing scale, if you scale by the marketing with, with us uh, and or with uh, any, any kind of funding. Uh, so uh, we uh, provide you the data and uh, uh, which predicts the future revenue, not receivables, not future receivables, which you got from store, but revenue from uh, all kinds of sources. It's uh, advertising monetization, in-apps, uh, uh, subscription services. So uh, it's uh, more than, um, uh, it's like a, a investments with no kind of equity or duration. So, uh, uh that's our main feature uh so we we, we can give uh in, in in short we can give you much more than uh you have in receivables mm, okay i like it i like it who wouldn't want that right yeah for example if you spend now uh, for example one thousand euros per month uh and you have a proven economy model and you have uh, all the metrics good um and you have some predicted analytics so if you're gonna scale your budget uh, and uh, if you can prove us that you can spend uh two or three times more next month we can provide you this sum this amount of money and this is some kind of unique product because as far as i know um uh, no one can uh, offer the same. Okay. I like it. All right. Hope that's, let me know, Newsly, in the comments if that is explaining you guys to, if that explains Games Boost 42. All right. Let's take a look at the last app. And then I know Andrew's probably ready for bed soon. All right. <laughs> We've got Battle X. And this is Rafael. Rafael, the Joker. Come on. Is this your app? Let us know. All right, so he wants us to take a look at the screenshots, UI design, and gameplay. So happy to do that. I think the one thing that I would say about the screenshots is, especially on Google, they're so tiny. And it could be my Moto 3G that Rudy told me to buy. But essentially, it's super tiny. And so these words, you got to make them big. You got to make them bold. So just make sure you do that. Like, I think battle friends by strategically searching for words. Just be like, battle your friends and then be like strategically search for words. I would break that up into two screenshots. Right now it's a little bit too big. And I like all the flags. I'm assuming the flags are for the fact that you're allowing people to, that you have multiple languages, which is cool. But hey, Raphael, what I wanna ask you is, is this a combination of like different, it feels like block us to me. I used to play this board game, Blockus. And so I think it's like, hey, word search meets Blockus, you know? And I think that's where you're headed with that stuff. And I really like that idea. 
because I love blockers. So think about how you can better translate that. And with games, you know, video is good. So having this video is a good thing. It doesn't always work for increasing conversions for non games, but for games, it is actually work. Okay. And they said, it's like words with friends. Yeah. But then I can block people. Right. So words with friends is sort of just like Scrabble. Let's take a look. Real friends. And then I get, he gets blocked. Yeah. It's kind of like chess. I put chess, right? Chess meets words, word search. And I think people would get that right away. So it's turn based. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Okay. It's a cool video. You guys can hear the sound, but I like it. All right. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's take a look at the app. Boom. I have to sign in, which is fine. So I'm going to sign in. <laughs> I'm going to go back to this. <laughs> Don't need to reveal everything, right, Andrew? Got to keep certain things hidden. All right. All right. Okay. So it looks like I have to put my nickname. I'm just going to put Steve. Save English. Okay. No, I don't want to set a profile picture. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, I don't know if you need this, Raphael, but it's the barrier right now. I just want to play. But all right. I'll go along with you for now. Wait, what happened? Okay, good. Uh, all right, so here is the, I don't know what your monetization is, but I always feel like this is so blank, right? Like this is so blank that you want to have something here regarding monetization, maybe show the gameplay, the board again, talk about all that stuff. Right now it's just so blank. All right, let's go random opponent. See, like you could even have this rather than just having leaderboards and play. And then it takes me just have this and then show my, the leaderboard somewhere else. I don't know if that's that interesting. Okay. I guess I'm red. Mm. All right. Let me just try to find a good word. Uh... <laughs> it's too much pressure. <laughs> Uh, gears. Oh no. Grr, grasp. How about that? Uh, wait, how do I do this? Okay. Okay. So just so you know, Raphael, I was trying to slide my fingers just so you know that I was trying to do this. Oh, okay. I guess it's teaching me how to say all this stuff too. opponent's term. Uh, I guess they're thinking. So we'll let it think. And he says, it's a clean interface. Yeah, I agree, but I think you can, it's pretty empty, in my opinion. Rafael says, so far, no monetization, just want to collect users. Okay, fair enough. And I'm waiting somebody's turn. It, it is a long, if if this is a bot, I'm out, right? Like if it's if this is a bot right now, I or it has to be somebody close to me. I didn't know that, but I'll, I'll try. No, it doesn't look like it. It feels slow. Like I don't want to wait this long. So if this is a bot that I'm playing against, make that bot faster and smarter because otherwise I'm out. But right now I, I like the game. Okay. Oh, hey, look, I'm playing you, Raphael. You, you slow boy. Come on. All right. I'm just going to keep it simple. Oh, I didn't know why that. Okay. That was a little bit weird for me. If it, I don't know if it's a language learning app or not, but I don't need this, especially if I picked English. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that's showing up for me. Flab. And saying flab too, if you guys didn't hear it. Soft, loose flesh on a person's body. Fat. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But then, <laughs> how. If I didn't know, so Raphael, like, I don't need the definition because if I'm trying to learn a new language and I don't know how to spell it, like, wouldn't I, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I wouldn't know how to spell it if I was trying to learn that language. 
type of way. It's interesting if, some, if I'm trying to learn language that way, but I already knew flap. I already knew how to spell it because that's why I put that word in there. So why are you telling me the definition of it? Anyways, that's all. These gamers can last for a while, so probably will not finish for a while. That's my feedback. I like it. I like, I like the gameplay. I like the UI. I think it's very interesting. I would try to monetize because why not? Because that way you can test to see if there's a real need and what you can pay for and what you can't. It's it's worth an easy test, right? Cool. Yeah. All I, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can help here to check yeah. the Russian, Russian localization. Uh, that's the first thing which I think will, <laughs> if you need this. And uh, the second, uh, as for monetization, I see the clear way you can uh, sell the tips, uh, the tips for for for, for, for the world. That's my thoughts. Yeah, but I like this game. Yeah, also. that's a great idea. I think he's I think he's from Russia. Oftentimes, you find the words by trial and error, so that's what definitions are there for. You can staple it and set it. Okay, good. Fair enough. All right, Andrew, Daria, anything that I missed from Games 42 that you want to make sure we cover? Um, well, uh, actually, actually, you you're doing a really great job, and thank you for 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 your expl exp explanations and uh, for your uh, sorry. Uh, for, for, hello. <laughs> uh cute really cute yes uh thank you very much for for your invitation and for your time and uh it was really great to see that uh, there is a lot of developers uh which work for such different kind of application and uh they, I, I'm sure they are really talented guys and uh, uh, just uh, yeah, if if uh, you need any kind of help with uh, with the funds and marketing skill, you can just uh, email me and uh, anytime or Daria, and we 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 will help. Uh, so and then uh, the I, least okay. the least amount the money revenue would be 10, 10 grand for you guys. Rudy was asking uh, a question. Yeah, we, we, uh, I see. Uh, well, actually, we don't have any threshold. We okay. we are open to speak with with any kind of developers with live application in store. It can be uh, uh, early access, uh, beta, or uh, or release state. Uh, but if you have any kind of a live application, just uh, let us know, uh, and we will speak with you. Yeah, and and we will. Even if yeah, you are, very. even if you are at the very beginning, you can you are free to con to contact us, and we are, are open to discuss all the opportunities. Maybe the publishing you. So well, you're welcome for discussion with us. Yes, and uh, uh, if, if it uh, makes sense, uh, I'll add that we trying to work not only with mobile uh, market uh, uh, and application and games. We're trying to work with uh, PC and console games uh, also oh, wow. right now. Yeah, Steam. Uh, yeah. yeah, Steam. Cool. That's awesome. All right, guys. The website, if you guys want to check them out, it is Games Boost. Four two, you know, it's a lucky magical number four two or whatever Jackie Robinson, whatever forty two means to you. Go check them out, gamesboost42.com. They're not just going to work with games, even though it's in the the app name. They're going to work with you. And then, if anything, and you feel like you got a good solid app with a solid revenue model, go check them out and put in your email address, and they're going to help you just like they've been helping us all along. So, all right. And Rudy says, excellent. Time to take geometry solver. We. We've been looking at Rudy's app. He went from a dollar a day. Check this out, Andrew, to you know, thirty-two, ninety-two dollars a day with just simple little changes. And so he's ready to take that to the new level. Yes, yeah, so, sorry. I, I, why only published ones? Why only published ones? You said we only work with published apps, not published. You have to be live. Yeah, you have to be live. You have to 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 we we. We can we can check your document and uh, you we can check test flight application, but uh, we really need to know that you can uh, you can submit uh, application to the store and you have uh, um, you have a developer account and uh, so and uh, you 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 know how it works actually uh, and uh, I have I, I I have just a final question to Steve if if you don't mind sure. uh, can I ask you a question. Yes. Uh, it's a really important question I have. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what is the this name time. of the tree? What is the name of the tree on your back? 
<laughs> this tree? It's a it's yeah. called a fake tree, Andrew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I thought it was gonna be a hard no, hitting question can't. or it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out where to like structure this live stream in the house, and I was like, you know what? Let's put the tree in the background. So yeah. let's do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Thank Raphael you. wants to play you guys. Let's play in Russian. So he wants to play you guys. And then Celtic Whisper says, Thanks, Game Sweet 42. Your offer sounds fantastic. Email sent. And so you guys have an email waiting for you there as well. And then you can also start looking at those that are not published. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, no better way than, well, the website is Games Boost 42. So I will put that up again. Go check them out, games the number 42.com. And then I'm going to end with one more joke. All right. I need you guys to put it all in. Just give me all your fake laughter. All right, Daria, you ready for your fake laughter? Give me your best fake laughter. Did you know that Spider Man has a winter jacket made entirely of Mediterranean flatbread? Did you know that Spider Man has a winter jacket made entirely? Of Mediterranean flat bread. It's a pita paca. And that is it, guys. All right. Next week, <laughs> we've got Vitaly, who's got a water tracker app that we actually took a look at. And he's going to share some of the changes that we've been talking about, him and I, and how he's been able to find success. So I know you guys like it when we talk about Indie Success Story. Vitaly is going to be here next Friday to talk about all the changes and what's that done to his revenue. He was already making decent revenues before I touched it, but we were able to increase the conversions a little bit more. All right. Lanier says, you need a more fresh background, Steve. The office doesn't look good. I know why my home, Lanier. What do you want me to do? Hardly ever here. Good content. Thank you. That's more important. Ram says 10. Thank you, Ram. You got it. Andrew, Daria, if the audience, besides going to games, boost42.com if the audience wants to connect with you guys personally do you want to do you want to send them anywhere else uh no they they can connect me and daria we are open to discuss uh, and we uh, we are free to to uh, right now i have uh, almost one uh, 1 a.m here and i work uh, a lot so you can email me directly or daria we are open to to speak with everyone and uh, if uh, uh, if uh, we we got more leads from your channel, we can uh, we can uh, we can buy your new tree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank uh, you. Buy your brand new office. I need a new office, not just a tree. Okay. Lanier <laughs> says I need a whole new okay. office. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Once again, it is Games Boost. The number four two GamesBoost42.com. Daria, Andrew, thank you so much for coming on doing this. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you all bye for bye. watching, and I will see you guys next Friday. Have a great weekend.